Hey, what's up? It's Martin Gerks. Hey, guys, I'm Ferry Corsten. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Denik. My name is Dairo. Hi, guys, I am Marcus Schultz, and you are watching DJSounds.com. Well, if you haven't worked out already by the amount of bikes and canals that are around me, we are indeed in Amsterdam. It's the second week of October, which can only mean one thing. It is the Amsterdam dance event, and this year, in 2014, they're into their 19th edition. Why do they come to AD? Why do we come to ADE? Well, we do business. We like to think we do business, actually. But there's parties, there's panels, there's workshops, there's presentations, and there are some really special events. Like, for example, this year, the Bridges to Music and Resident Advisor Charity Bike Challenge. They rode from London to Amsterdam. There's so much going on. It's five days of activities. Let's get on with it. This is Amsterdam Dance Event 2014. in the heart of Amsterdam, which is this week the heart of ADE. And I'm with a man who, along with a very big team, makes this festival happen every year. It's 19 years and it's Richard Zelma. Richard, another year. Yeah, another year. So uh, yeah, we, we are really excited for uh, this edition. So yeah, I think we attract about 5,000 delegates at the conference. So we are really happy with that. And uh, about 350,000 uh, visitors to the festival. So it's uh, amazing. And also a lot of upcoming DJs and producers are around. And uh, with AD Play Playground, we like to provide them a, a really nice program. We have support from a lot of companies like Pioneer, of course. So basically, if you uh, come during the day to Amsterdam and you are an electronic music lover, you can go to 30 uh, locations around Amsterdam and to, to see, feel and experience electronic music. Okay, here we are now with Nick from Resident Advisor, who is one of the, well, pretty much the man behind this uh, amazing, not even an amazing race, this amazing ride from London, from London, from London to Amsterdam, here for ADE, raising money to build a school in South Africa for Bridges for Music. Nick, how did it come to fruition? Like, what, when, did this, when was this idea born and, and why? About two and a half months ago, we just decided as a company uh, that we wanted to do one big thing a year to raise money for causes that we believe in. That, would benefit people less fortunate than ourselves really and um, so we kind of opened it up to the company and asked them to submit ideas and someone submitted the idea of riding to Amsterdam and it seemed as good as any so uh, we decided to take it on. Here we are now with Chris Leaving who was obviously roped into uh, well riding for this amazing cause. Chris, how are, you, how are you after four days on the bike? It was just fantastic to ride with everyone. And today was just like absolutely mind blowing. Last two days were like rainy, but still a lot of fun. And today was just like we went to the dunes. Uh, it was sunny. It was really amazing. I was gonna say it must have been cool. You must have seen some amazing sights on your way through. Absolutely, so, things that you would normally never see. Yeah. And the man next to me now, or well, the biker. Next to me now is Valentino, who's the founder of Bridges for Music, which is exactly what this ride is all about, raising money to build a school in South Africa. Tell us about the school that you've got planned to build and where. The school is, um, it wants to be like a creative hub in a township called Langa, near Cape Town in South Africa. And the idea is that we teach everything from DJing and production up to graphic design and video editing and all the roles that are involved in the music industry you know like maybe even uh, music business uh, management PR you know whatever that can really empower the kids in those in those areas and also become like an open space where kids can have open conversations you know and share their passion for music and other kind of arts And what is your, how much are you hoping to raise? Like what is your sort of, what's your goal? Well, we hit the goal, so we were... What was the goal? The goal was 80,000 pounds and we hit it overnight last night, so... <laughs> <laughs> 
currently 93,000 pounds. Uh, my favourite thing about the Amsterdam dance event is it's just such a vibrant atmosphere, so many people here to do business and listen to good music. So, And this year's I think has probably been one of the best years so far. And um, yeah, I've just done so many meetings. I think I've done about 100 meetings in three days. That's why I've got my sunglasses on, so I'm a little bit tired. Nothing to do with my hangover from the amount of alcohol I've drank. What I personally like about it is we all get together and actually be professional for three to four days throughout the whole year, which is great. Loads of real deals are done and loads of creative ideas are, um, are born here, which are developed over the rest of the year, which I'm really into. Having a really, really great time, uh, doing lots of business, meeting lots of people, really doing lots of stuff for my label, meeting lots of remixes. And for me, this experience, once again, never, never disappoints. You can tell by my voice. Tyro and I've got Danik. Guys, great to see you here at ADE. Thank you. ADE, you guys are part of the New Breed panel this week. What are you hoping to, you know, to to get out of that and to deliver to people? And what's what's your what's your goal for this one? It's a panel, so it, it's like educating people that like are might be in the same position or like are striving to be in the same position. It's like a Q and A. Though. People can ask questions. Tommy Sunshine is going to be moderating it, but um, not a lot of people know him, but he's actually a really smart guy. I've, I've read a lot of uh, things he, he said, so it's really interesting. And uh, I think Martin Garrix is going to be there, Oliver Helms, um, Thomas Newson. So yeah, no, it's going to be really interesting. Uh, um, I think we can educate a lot of guys in, in what we've done. And, uh, yeah. I think especially because everyone nowadays wants to be a DJ and if when I write... me, but I've tried, you, but you failed. Me. Yeah? No. Badly. Okay. But, <laughs> Um, I think it's really important to educate those guys like please you know it, it takes a lot of time to, uh, to, to become good at, uh, at something and um, if don't strive being like be, being uh, famous or whatever but do it because you love music or whatever. What we always get is like people think only that we're like glitter and glitter and glamour, like we're flying private jets, we're getting picked up in, in uh, limousines and like we're only eating at five star restaurants. But it happens a lot of times that you fly in after a six hour flight and you have two hours in your hotel room to freshen up, order some shitty room for service. <laughs> like if you're lucky. Fried chicken if you're lucky and then like go to the show and then after the show you have like four hours to sleep and then you go to the next one. And it's also like in the studio, you know? If I'm home for a week to, to work, I'm actually working 8 to 10 hours a day. A lot of people seem not to realize how much work we put into it and uh, that's also something for the panel, you know, we can like explain them like it really takes a lot of freaking work. <laughs> Here I am now with an artist who was born and bred in this city where AD is happening, uh, Martin Garrix. How are you? I'm good. Um, <laughs> it's good weather, so. So, ADE, it's your home city. Um, do you? I mean, what do you think about it? What do you? What do you love about ADE? I love the fact that the whole industry is here, and um, you get to meet so many people around the world. Like you do a tour with a promoter in Australia, you get to meet this producer in Los Angeles, and this week they're all in Amsterdam and. Everywhere you go, there's a party. Everywhere you go, there are people you know, and I just, I just love the whole vibe. Tyro and Danik are super good buddies of mine. We did the whole Australia tour, and that's probably been the craziest tour I've ever done so far. And why? What happened? Uh, tour stories. <laughs> <laughs> no, but those guys are super great, and I think tomorrow it, it will be very, very fun. Just like for the people who are going to be there, they, they get to know us better and. We tell, we tell them our story and how we did it, and I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Amsterdam by day is a very special city, but when the sun goes down and the lights come on, this city takes entertainment to a whole new level. <laughs>